Gators and taters. Oh, it was good. That was a nice night. So you made this recipe called, um, let's see, alligator sauce piquant. piquant. Yeah. I it's, thought it was saucier piquant. I, I, whatever. It's I French for How hot was, sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I basically just, it, it's just a fancy word for soup. We got two pounds <laughs> yeah. of alligator tenderloin from mm-hmm. the Louisiana Crawfish Company. Right. And I would say the texture is sort of in between steak and chicken. Yeah, I would agree. Sort of like lamb is. Yeah, I think that's a good good comparison. Maybe slightly more on the chicken side than the steak side, but yeah. yeah. You made the observation that it was a little briny. Yeah, it had a little bit of a fishy flavor to it, but it was also like, it was like 90% chicken flavored and then 10% fish flavored. So here's the recipe for the sauce piquant. <laughs> Sauce piquant item. <laughs> We're not French. <laughs> and here's what it looked like. Uh, and just go ahead and either ignore or admire mm-hmm. Carly's frilly pink <laughs> charger plates. I love charger plates. Charger plates is a new term I've <laughs> learned since meeting Carly. <laughs> it's a plate that goes under your plate. It's for decoration. It just looks nice. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I know you think that they're stupid. I know. I, it's, no, it's you find it. Carly has so many dishes. <laughs> I really don't. I have a pretty normal amount of dishes. <laughs> you know. Okay, you have so many dishes from a guy who has None. Sam's Cub Club <laughs> paper plates in his cupboard, and that's it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I actually do sort of admire the way that you live because it's so efficient. But oh yeah. Also. So we we always used paper plates when I was a kid too, and I'm, it makes sense. Yeah. But then anytime I had like guests over and stuff, we didn't have like a nice matching set, mm. and I was always like, "Man, this looks stupid. We should have like nice dishes." Well, and Sam's has um, oh, they already have fireworks, by the way. Already. You know the lame ones that uh, <laughs> like that, the, that you don't have poppets. to get from Wyoming. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> the poppets and right. some I don't know confetti things, right. but. Um, they also have seasonal paper plates. Every time, like every time I walk in the door, right? Yeah. So I got Carly some watermelon ones. I love those, by the way. They're super cute. So we spent. I think we've mentioned. I spent thirty nine ninety nine on the alligator tenderloins, two mm-hmm. pounds, and then the shipping was sixty bucks. And I'm like, I'm halfway through. Just do it. Right. Which you know, I'm impressed. That this you show can do was that. already losing money. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll expense that too. Right. And. Then I realized, oh, there's a couple of joints here in Idaho Falls or surrounding areas where we could have gone. Well, where you can get alligator that's already cooked. Right. But if you want to cook it yourself, there's not really anywhere to get raw alligator. Right. And and by the way, before we put the alligator in the sauce piquant, Mm -hmm. we um, took a couple of pieces aside and fried them up Mm -hmm. just Just in some butter. Yeah, nothing else. Because I was like, okay, if we're going to do this, I'm going to do this. Right. Yeah. You wanted to get the full experience of the flavor. Yeah. But Frosty Gator has alligator as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and BJ's Bayou and Roberts. I always forget about them. We should I go. Know. Here's the thing. Every time I go to the fair, I always have to stop and look at their menu because they have all kinds of great seafood stuff there. And I love seafood. Honestly, like crawfish are one of my favorites. Yeah. I really like them. I They've don't, got all that crawfish. I don't know if you could eat them. I don't know if I could. Yeah. I've gone diving for them before, night diving. That's oh, fun. really? Yeah, you you shine a flashlight in their eyes and then bring your hand around from the back. Oh. And then you put them in your netted bag. Oh. Yeah. Tricky. I like that. They're sort of like, you've heard deer in headlights. Right. There's also crawfish, <laughs> crawfish in headlights. flashlights. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. It works. And I wonder if BJ's Bayou is going to be at Beer Fest, the Mountain Brewers... Beer Fest. Ooh. This Saturday, June 1st, noon to five at Sandy Downs. Oh, can you believe it's already almost June? Get your tickets and your designated driver for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, BJ's Bayou has what? Deep fried snap and gator bites, shrimp po' boys, crawfish etouffee. I love that. Oysters, that fish. so good. Kind of I stuff. love so, oysters. So if you, if you do want to, if you've been listening and we've been making you hungry for gator, mm-hmm. which I doubt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a couple places in town you can just go. Yeah. I do think next we're going to try frog legs. And and I think BJ's Bayou has those. I think they do too. And I think I'd rather try them from a restaurant. No offense. No, it's not about you or your cooking. It's about I just want to sit down and have it on my plate. I don't want to buy like. <clears throat> right. You don't want to go through the hassle. I tried buying them from Winco and then I just kind of went through a, it's a mental thing. I right. went through like a. 
that's a big frog. And then I'm picturing the frogs. And I don't want to picture the frog. I don't picture a chicken when I eat chicken. Right. I get that. If it helps, I'd be happy to go and buy them and prepare them without you even having to set eyes upon it. <sighs> I'll give you a definite maybe, or we'll just try BJ's Bayou. That's cool with me. Uh, if mind. that means we have to go to Beer Fest this oh, weekend. Oh, no. How terrible. Then we have to go. <laughs>